and greetings. This is Bob James from Daily Enduring Truth again. And uh, this is our weekly broadcast, which will give you a little bit about what's going on in my life and around the world, as well as some information about this week's Bible study. First of all, you may have noticed I've gotten a bit of a haircut. Uh, the quarantine scruffle is over. Uh, Texas has opened up so that I got the haircut legally. Uh, I didn't have to worry about somebody coming to my home and getting in trouble for doing that. Uh, it's interesting that we were originally talking about 15 days to flatten the curve, and I think that was about two months ago, so I'm trying to figure out just what they're trying to do in the midst of all this. I know we're trying to be safe, but sometimes we need to be in charge of our own safety. So that was the fun part about this week. I got it cut for my, especially for my anniversary. Uh, I celebrated 41 years of marriage with my wonderful wife, and, uh, I know I've gotten the better end of that deal. Uh, she's an amazing woman, and I'm grateful for her. Uh, God has done an amazing thing with the institution of marriage, and we'll actually sort of touch on that this week in the devotional. Um, we got our dog's claws trimmed. You, you just saw her head come in there right now, and I'm actually wearing my Chihuahua T-shirt. That's uh, sort of like the old police song, Every Step You Take, I'll Be Watching You. With this, it's every bit of food I take, she'll be watching me. So that's some of the things that went on this week. I've also had the, the fun time of breaking my glasses and buying reader glasses. I had a slight miscalculation and ended up with a total of four pairs. It's a long story, but uh, it makes me look bad, so I won't tell you the whole story. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's sort of the, the background for what's been happening this week for us. And... Uh, you, be, you can begin to see more things happening in the world around us. And while we should still stay, stay safe, we, we need to find ways to reach out and help other people along the way as we do it, too, because people are still hurting. People are still uh, in problems as, as with, with different things happening. Anyway, that gets us to this week's study. We're looking at Mark 1, verses 16 through 31. It begins with Jesus ministering in Galilee. Now, one of the things that I that I noticed when I was studying was there's a about a year period while Jesus was ministering in other areas before he went to Galilee. And like I said about Mark earlier, Mark goes from place to place and goes very quickly and he only does the things that he thinks are most talks about the things he thinks are most important. So, we miss a few things in the story of Mark, but that's why we read the, all the gospels. That's why we read all the story of Jesus. Even Paul shed some light, and we talk about some of those things uh, today in, in the study. In the study, we, we start in Galilee, and Jesus is walking along the Lake of Galilee. And I wonder, why would he sp pick that specific time and that specific place? And I believe that he was actually looking for Simon, that we know, who we know of as Peter, and Andrew, and James, and John. And I explained that in the writing. At, <coughs> excuse me. That's an asthma cough, not a COVID-19 cough. I always call that my line clearing syndrome cough. After that, we see Jesus teaching in the synagogue, and his teaching is interrupted by a demon-possessed man, or a man with an evil spirit. It doesn't say demon-possessed, but that's the basic idea. And uh, it's a, the, the people's reaction, first of all, to Jesus' teaching and the authority shows, as well as uh, the healing from the, the demon-possessed man, or the, for the for, for the man with the evil spirit, the casting out of that demon, it creates an uproar. And uh, this is all at the synagogue of Jesus' regular time. And then they go back to Peter and Andrew's house. Now, this was in Capernaum. And it's interesting that Capernaum became the base of operations for Jesus from this point on. And I think in part of, the, part of that was in due to the fact that this was where Simon and, that, and Andrew lived. And so uh, Peter had a wife. Obviously, he had a mother-in-law. And uh, so Peter had more of a chance to, to see his wife during this time. And we, we actually look at some of the, um, the truth and the legend behind Peter's wife in the midst of this. And uh, again, I, it's almost humorous as part of the story in our day and age, but it would probably be, be typical for that day and age. But when they came back home after, the, after synagogue time, lunch wasn't ready because Peter's mother-in-law was sick. Jesus healed her, and she got up, and she served the food. And we'll see that uh, some amazing, thing ha amazing things happen through all of that. Uh, it's, it's an interesting look 
at social media before we had what we call social media today and the way information spreads. So I had a lot of fun this week with the, with the study, and I hope you will too. And I hope you get some of the, enjoy the insights as we go along. So you all have a great day, and uh, let Jesus continue to watch over and bless you.